It is late at night, and someone across the way is playing La Vie en Rose. It is the French way of saying, I am looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. video everyone has been waiting for or maybe not everyone maybe it was just me i filmed this video 30 times in my head like i literally filmed the whole of it because i talk to myself all the time so i just filmed it in my head i've never filmed anything really because i was kind of overwhelmed by everything and guys you know i'm a freaking overachiever this is me trying so i was just like going to every class and like taking notes and mind you, the classes are all in French. I do not speak French. I did not speak French. Now I speak a little bit better. I'm actually filming this video like in the worst state I could be right now. Because I'm sick. I just woke up. And I'm ugly. What was I saying? I think it's important to say that I was like way too focused on getting good grades and stuff. And then someone had to wake me up for life and tell me that's literally not important. You're in Paris, you're doing Erasmus. Literally no one gives a crap about the grades they get. Mostly when the subjects are being taught in a language you do not speak. And so I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And so now I am doing my best to try and not care about it, even though it's really hard because you know Paris Geller from Gilmore Girls and Rory? Do I look cute? I know. What am I gonna do the rest of the day though? I'm gonna go study because you can't take school away from me. You can't. I remember I would get, get home from college and I'd be so tired to even go explore or, you know, just hang around in Paris. One thing I had to go and it's gotta be the classes because I don't care enough. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you a um, resume of how my day has been going. So I woke up. Uh, with my nose so stuffed, I kind of died because I couldn't breathe. And by the way, you guys, you guys. I was not going to say anything. I don't know why I said that. You know, if I ever become a celebrity and they make one of those like Vogue Beauty Secrets video, they're never going to call me. You guys, you know that I went to Paris Fashion Week? Yeah, I went to Paris. No. I waited at the front door of the Louis Vuitton show with so many people running over me like I could have died. And I think I have a really good style of clothing too, like guys. It's camp. I didn't talk about any of the products that I used on my face because couldn't be bothered, literally. I got dressed because I realized that I couldn't keep on talking because it would never end. So I just did everything and I got dressed and I'm going to show you what I take in my bag. Anyway, I'm going to take this bag. It's my faithful bag. I always take it everywhere because it's nice. So I'm going to take my computer and with my computer, I have a lot of stuff. I have this little notebook that I write in sometimes. I have this book that I've been reading, but I, I'm going to return it to the library because I'm not gonna finish it in time. And I'm kind of like uninterested by the story, so I'm just gonna turn it. Before going to class, I am thinking of going to study at a cafe because romanticizing school and academic life is what's saving me from dying right now. Then I have this really cool water bottle that, I, blah, that I've showed in the previous video. I have tea here, lemon tea, because my throat is killing me. I should probably stop talking. Umbrella. Because it says that it's gonna rain, even though it's sunny, but you never know. You know, something that these glasses have been really helpful when I cry on the subway. Guys, do you like my jacket? I thrifted it. I thrifted, this is a thousand dollar jacket that I thrifted for 50 euros. By the way, this for the day in the life of a college student in Paris is not realistic at all because I'm completely not caring about classes for my mental health. But I got um, a subscription at this coffee shop here in Paris that's basically like Starbucks and it's really expensive. And so I got um, a subscription that basically you pay like 25 
euros a month and then you get like an unlimited copy like five per day and so we're gonna go there and study we're gonna try to see how it goes so guys i've arrived i ordered a pumpkin spice latte with soy milk and it's really good So my class ended and I came straight home because it was already really dark out. And you know, classes in my university are two hours long. How can you be attentive to a class that's two hours long in French? I have to go to the theater on Saturday because of a play that I have to watch for the class that I had today. You know, I have to write an essay about it, but you know, whatever. I didn't drink tea from this at all. Oh my god, it smells like lemon tea. That's amazing. I didn't drink it at all because I don't really know what- It's still steaming hot! What? Like... What? Look at the steam coming out of it. This tea has been here all day long. So you guys, my friends who watch these videos, really liked my video about books. Which is so cool, I didn't think you were gonna like it, but you did. I don't know if you watched all of it, I don't care. But you guys told me that you did like it. So now I'm gonna share a book that I'm gonna start reading. If we were villains, yes, this is a dead bird on the cover. I actually really like this cover. Did I get the book because of the cover? I didn't actually. But should I do a video in French? This is completely a joke, I do not speak French. I feel like I read so much better during the summer. Like, I don't know why, but I just feel like reading in the summer. I have these two dictionaries here all the time because I got them from my school's library. I got them because my teachers don't let me use the translator for the test, so they only let me use dictionaries, which is really annoying. So I have to use these little bad boys. I don't know how that's gonna go. But the fact that they don't speak any other language other than French is just so weird. Like, how are you a college professor and you don't speak English? They, do, they don't speak a word of English. Actually, I have a bone to pick with this. I was at McDonald's today and this woman was asking me to buy her a meal because she, you know, hadn't gotten her paycheck or whatever. I was like, you know, trying to get out of it. I was like, sorry, I don't speak French. And she was like, <laughs> you don't speak French in Paris and you don't speak French? And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's like asking me for money and she has the nerve to mock me for not speaking French. And mind you, I'm like at the McDonald's just by the Louvre where every tourist ever decides to go in Paris. Like it's like the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, the McDonald's by the Louvre. So she's like impressed and mocking me because I don't speak French in like one of the most touristy places in the world. Hello, good morning everyone. I look like a school kid, a school boy. I look like I'm going to the Dead Poet Society reboot. I'm gonna go grocery shopping first, then I come here to store the groceries and I make lunch for myself and then during the afternoon I'm gonna go go study at a coffee shop. I love grocery shopping. Like it's, I really like to do that. I don't know, I think I'm the only person. I'm so sick still. Why am I so sick still? Like I've been taking everything that my mom tells me to take and I still don't know what's happening. You know, when I put my hair like this, I always tell my brother that I look like Dean from Gilmore Girls. that I do while eating at, at home. I usually either watch YouTube videos, these guys' YouTube videos, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And then Gilmore Girls, it's what I do. It's either them or Gilmore Girls. And then when I'm out on the street, I'm listening to their podcast. By the way, I don't listen to podcasts. I hate podcasts, I've tried. I have a friend that loves podcasts and I, I really wanted to get into a podcast and, sh and I asked her for recommendations. Every single one I didn't like, I didn't like it. I tried listening to podcasts, I swear I can't. I started listening to theirs. I, I, I love it. I feel like 
I'm having a conversation. I feel like I'm there, you know, I'm having a conversation with them. Good morning, guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, I must have done something to Taylor Swift because my karma is like working because, oh my God. Yesterday, I woke up at 6 a.m. to be at my college at eight. And when I got there, it was closed because it was a holiday that I didn't know about because I'm not French. Today, I have to go see a play for a class that I have. Now I'm studying theater studies as a minor, so I have to read plays and watch plays. I'm really happy because I bought a Muffet. Ever since I came to Paris, I have this obsession with, with muffins. I love muffins. You want to know how the theater went, how the play went? Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't understand a thing. And it was like two hours and a half long. Like I can't even tell you that it was fun because I didn't understand anything. It was, I was just sitting there and it was actually, it was, it was actually really boring. So you could sit there and miss her Bust the crowds or silent sleepers I'm not sure which is worse Because I dropped Okay, so I'm at my favorite place Even though it's not my favorite place to study I have to come here every day because I have a subscription I like learning about cinema and you know the names of the plans I know that must sound so ridiculous to people who don't care about cinema like learning the names of the plans is so fun obviously if I'm ever a, a director in Portugal I'll be using the terms in French because I've never learned them in Portuguese so imagine I'm like guys you should do a uh, plan reproché taille and they're like a oh, what and I'm like, oh, it's the one where you cut to your waist. Glee is not on Netflix anymore. But you know, Glee and Gilmore Girls all in one platform. It would be too powerful, I think. I would not leave my house. So I don't have blinds on my window. So that's what I do every single day when I go home. Today I got my favorite muffin. My college makes muffins, blueberry muffins, and they're so good. Before, after the play à manger and studying a bit, I went straight here. Wait, that's a lie. I went to the Louvre. I've never kind of seen Paris at night because I'm way too scared to walk alone at night in Paris and like do the subway things and all of that. Uh, and I live in a pretty dangerous zone, as I've said. And so every time I get home safe, I'm like, I did it. I escaped Jeffrey Dahmer. I was talking about something else and I forgot what I was saying. Actually, I have something to say. I was getting ready to have my lunch and I was going to sit down eating it in a little like a little garden, whatever. It has benches in it. And as I was about to sit on a bench, I see a freaking rat on the bench. But like usually when you see a rat, like they kind of hide from you. This one was straight up vibing on the bench. He was like, this is my bench and I'm going to stay here. And it was so fat. It was a fat rat. And you know, I was about to eat lunch and so I had to stop for like five minutes and be like, and then I had to carefully sit on another bench. And I, there's a thing that I hate more than, no, not more than bats. I don't hate anything more than bats. Like bats, rats, Shanning Tatum. My hating for Shanning Tatum is completely unjustified. I do not have a justification. His face just annoys me. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take a shower. And I'm gonna die because I kind of feel sick again.